Today, I want to give a video explanation on Chicken Genesis tweet on how he made $19,000 on TradeFi doing option premium selling of his two favorite stock, Rivian and also Coinbase. So stick with me. So before I begin, I just need to give a few heads up that this is not something for the beginners. You need some experienced investor. So option selling requires a few key things. One, high capital. Like Coinbase is worth $190 just now. So if you want to go option premium selling, you need at least $19,000 as capital because it's multiplied by 100. And for example, if you want to go Tesla, which is about $300 just now. And if you want option trading per contract, you need $30,000. So it's high capital. And second thing is the capital at risk is when you sell option premiums on puts, you are actually 100% exposed to risk. Meaning that whatever contract that you buy, you put 30,000, 19,000, or you multiply your contract by 300,000, if the company goes to zero, less likely, but if the company goes to zero, I repeat, goes to zero, you lose everything because you're obliged to buy the stock at expiry for the price of capital that you put up front for. And also right at the end, I'll also explain in the money and out of the money and how Chicken Genius put a strategic position towards it. Let's dig into what he's done. All right, let me explain a few things here. Chicken Genius, first of all, is coin 12 contracts, meaning 144,000 US dollars is at risk here. And the premium that he received by selling this premium puts option 12 pound 50 and this multiplied by this multiplied by 100 that's your premium of almost fifteen thousand dollars that goes into your pocket and a few more things this is the expiry date so i believe he bought it around december or perhaps january period strike price of 120 i think around about that time coin was selling about 125 130 dollars so he's going under the money and that's your expiry date so in this scenario, Ken Chicken Genius is risking his $144,000 US dollar for a premium of $14,000 in around about 8 to 10 weeks. And what's his risk at play here? $120,000, he's buying out of the money, meaning at that time Coinbase was worth over $125, $130 at that time. And his risk is if Coinbase drops below $120,000, then he's obliged to buy Coinbase at $120 per share and his $144,000 is taken off him. He keeps the premium and he's still obliged to buy it. He's doing that risk because he believes that's a good price valuation for Coinbase. But also on the other side, if, if Coinbase stays above $120, he doesn't have to buy anything. His $144,000 goes back capital to his pocket and he pockets already the $15,000 premium. So win-win for him. It's quite strategic, not straightforward, but that's how his thinking goes. Now for Rivian, as you can see Rivian here, he's got 67 contracts, base price of 15, so 15 and 67, and his trade price, which is his premium, is 0.76. So if you multiply this and this, your premium he's getting is about 5,000, and I think he put it about eight weeks, so within eight weeks, risking that capital there, he's getting about $5,000. And now for the Rivian, he's risking about hundred thousand US dollar for a premium of five thousand within the span of again eight to ten weeks, and he did it out of the money again, believing that Rivian fifteen he's willing to buy, but if it goes above, he doesn't have to buy. That's how he's worth five thousand and his fifteen thousand with coin altogether around about nineteen thousand trade fund. That's what he actually means. And the last key point is that he mentioned that he does it to six to eight times a year, which is also very important. So what KCG means that he doesn't just go in and roll and buy the next, like making an income journey. He's waiting for the right price where it's at base. There's something thing is overvalued. If it hits a strike price, he'll buy it on his own. It doesn't really mind. That's why he means you need six to eight times. Some people do it every single month, but Ken times it. Ken does his valuation. So he does it quite strategically. So me teaching you this is not going to help you go do straight away and copy and paste because it takes a lot of experience. So if you want to do this, you know, do try something smaller or do try it on the demo account before you go in. I've done it myself. You know, it's quite taxing, but it's a lot easier than day trading in my personal view. But please do your own research. And I hope this is useful. Hello, welcome back. Now, Family Investment for the extended version on the same video, only exclusively on YouTube. Please do subscribe. 
and like for more educational videos like this in future. So now I'm going to capture three stocks, okay? We're going to go Coinbase, but Ken likes, and what if I thought like Ken? And I'm going to go Tesla. What if Ken comes back to Tesla? How would he sell puts on Tesla? And what if I were to do it on AMD? So at least I give you three stocks, give you a bit of variety on how it works in the brokerage, and hopefully it helps. So now I'm showing you my interactive broker uh, app here on my iPad. And just to show you how you go around by it on Coinbase. So Coinbase, 185 bucks just now. So if Ken goes in with 12 contracts, 185 bucks just now with 100, you talk about $230,000 capital at risk. And now I've switched it to April 19 expiry, as you can see right over here, 19 expiry. So sitting about 185, that's where this is where all the premium costs are. So if I want to sell out of the money, meaning I want to sell under, I will be picking around about 165, as you can see, which is about 1270. So meaning if I do 12 contracts multiplied by 12, then again 12 multiplied by 12, I'll get about close to 15,000 dollars on premium straight into my pocket if i sold 12 contracts at 165 today for an uh, expiry on 19 of april how about what if i want to get a bit greedy go to 200 which is in the money if i'm very confident that 200 you will go beyond to i'm confident coinbase and april for whatever reason goes let's say 250 or future going ahead uh, more beyond 200 then if i sold this 200 at 32 uh, strike price which is 32 times 12, which gives you total premium collected today of $38,000. But then because it's 200 multiplied by 12, if can multiply by 12, we're talking about $240,000 at risk here. So again, high capital at risk. So now if I go to 200, I'll be exposing about 200 grand of capital of 180. I'm exposing even more than before when Coinbase was at 120. So would Ken buy it? I think he would think twice before he goes in to sell premium puts on this one. Now let's look at Tesla. Tesla again same 63 days 19 of April uh, expiry date and around about 200 bucks just now. And then let's say if I sell out of the money, I don't want to be in the money. Okay, let's say 190, which is about 10 bucks away. If I think Tesla is not going to hit 190, it's $10 premium. So 10 contracts, $10 premium. I could have collected $10,000 today. And capital at risk would be 19. 10 contracts, we're talking about 19,000 uh, pounds times 10, 190,000 pounds to make about 10,000 pounds of uh, premium for within a 63 day period. Okay, let's go AMD. What if what I would do on AMD option premium selling? All right, now for AMD, again, looking at a 63-day period away and expiring on 19th of April. AMD is around 174 just now. AMD is falling. So it will be selling premium uh, puts here. We're looking at this puts column, about 10 bucks. But then I'll go about around about the 160 mark. That's where I think the base could be on the next Fibonacci line, 61. So 10 contracts, 61 is about 6,100 premium that I can collect today. But then I expose my risk at 160 times 10 and 10 contracts, we're talking about $160,000 on that particular trade play there. Whew, it's pretty a mouthful to explain. Try to keep it concise within you know under five minutes. It's not an easy one to take in. So watch a few times to get it, understand and go to a progression line and try to settle on selling premium puts. Many strategies out there. We've got other strategies on the other side as well, on the calls, uh, cover calls. So take your time learn it, absorb it, but that's where we are with three examples I've shared today and I hope you enjoy that. I hope you found it useful. It gives you a head start in your journey going ahead. So thank you, take care. Please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Alex Girl. I'm here to help to give you value and please help me grow my channel as well. Thank you, spread the word and have a good day.